thing I've learned is to keep an eye on high things, not just low things, because we're 13 and a half feet. And you can see these tree branches sticking out right here is an accident waiting to happen. We're gonna have to try to swing a little wider and miss it. So it's, I think it's the site is still doable, but it's just gonna take a little extra maneuvering. And that's, that's what happens when you're out here and the ground is all uneven and lots of trees. All set up for business. Oh, yay. Our home for a few days. <laughs> Pretty secluded. Big trees this time. Yeah, I like that. One thing you see a lot of around the Grand Canyon is uh, caribou running wild. It's pretty cool. Like, let me eat in peace. Well, I think it's our last night here. <laughs> That's one thing we don't have set campground bookings yet for another week, maybe a little longer. And Anyway, we need to have a fire because I gathered all this our first night here and we haven't had a fire yet. We've been catching sunset at the Grand Canyon. Firewood is very plentiful here. It's all over and usually around campsites where it's legal to gather, you know, fallen trees and dead wood and stuff like that, it's picked clean, but not out here. It is everywhere. So that's a cool thing. Time for a fire. Well, that was an easy, quick start. Dry wood out here. Wind seems to have calmed down here, so this is awesome. Now, time to get Cherie and get some drinks. Cheers. Cheers. Well, after two days of kind of shaded sunlight, the batteries were drained. So we got two days before running the generator this time. So that's not bad. Got our fire and I don't know how well you can see this. Grilling some burgers here. Well, how perfect is that? I mean, this is such an awesome place to stay. So close to the Grand Canyon, zero cost per night. And we're, it feels like we're out here by ourselves. So the campers are so spread apart. We'll save the rest for when you can actually see me. not getting great internet service out at our boondocking spot. We knew this might be a problem and 
gosh, discovered a super fast hotspot here at the IMAX. I, I'm getting super fast upload speeds here. It's just really awesome to be able to do that. So thanks IMAX. And the IMAX has lots of big rig friendly spots here. But not boondocking. This is not the boondocking that I was talking about. And if you don't want to do the driving yourself, you can have the Pink Jeep Tours uh, take you around for a tour of the Grand Canyon area. And here in the town of Tusian, uh, there's the Grand Canyon Camper Village that you can dump your tanks, get fresh water if you need to, and even refill your propane tanks like we did. This is Long Jim Loop Road, actually very close to the entrance to the Grand Canyon. And there is some dispersed camping down here. Not very big sites for us, so we didn't risk it. But if you have a smaller RV and a big plus, you're right next to this paved trail. And we've seen a lot of e-bikes actually here and you can take this trail all the way into the Grand Canyon and not have to wait in line with your vehicle. It's a really nice paved trail, especially if you have a bike where you want to go hiking into the Grand Canyon. And here's a little more from Long Jim Loop Road. You can see you've got a van over here, another camper over there, and the spot that I said that I would like to get the momentum into, but I don't dare. Look who's in that spot. Actually, a large momentum toy hauler over there. And he's got his solar panels out. And <laughs> I think he did a little scraping to get in there because there are a lot of low branches around here. So he risked it and got in there. So if you have a big rig, I think there's one spot that you might be able to get into if you want to maybe paint your RV afterwards. And another place for dispersed camping right near the town of Tusian is Road 302, which if you can read that sign, says road impassable due to snow. Another one, do not drive this way. But the road is open in great shape, actually. And there are camp spots just a mile or two out that way that are open. And we believe we would have had better signal had we been closer to town, like for internet and cell phones and stuff like that. We're right next to the Grand Canyon Hotel right here. So there are so many places for dispersed camping around here. We're, we're really surprised. Ah, another pretty sunset out here boondocking near the Grand Canyon. And a couple things we learned from our very first boondocking trip out with our new solar and battery setup and our new internet setup. Two things. We are far off the dirt road right here. So even though a lot of dust gets kicked up, we are pretty far back. And there are sites that you can get even farther back, but this is not bad. Also, block the entrance with a vehicle so you don't get unwanted neighbors parking really, really close. I think this is like a touchy subject. Some people probably, maybe I'm going to guess 10 or 20% of the campers want anybody and everybody to come and park really close to them. And I think about 80 or 90% of the rest of us want to come out here to get away from everybody. Even though there are a few other sites back there to camp in, it's, you're really kind of on top of each other. Maybe a group site for people that know each other kind of a thing. So <laughs> those of you that commented on our first boondocking video and said, well, what's with the pop-up? You know, basically in your campsite. So... <laughs> we learned this the hard way. I mean, our closest neighbor is, well, you can see that white Jeep. He's way down there. I mean, there's lots of sites out here. 
So there's no shortage of sites. You guys can weigh in if you think we shouldn't do this or you are giving it a thumbs up and say definitely do that. Uh, I would say this has been a better experience. Um, I'll, although I like the red rocks and the look of that, uh, out here in the forest is nice. We have the shade. It, it's, it's been definitely nicer and quieter. So farther off the road. So the next boondocking spot, here we come. You can tell there's been some kind of a fire out here, but it didn't kill the tree. Well, this is our second boondocking trip with our new solar and battery setup. Yes, and I am loving it. Plus, we're near the Grand Canyon. Yes. We are only 15 or 20 minutes away from the Grand yes, Canyon. Yes, yes. This is like a dream. It has been so cool. And we have to tell you guys where we are. We are off of Fire Road or Forest Road 688. Uh, and 60, Highway 64. Just before the town of Tusian. Is that how you would say that, Tusian? I, I, I don't know. <laughs> Looks like Tuskian, I, I don't know. I butcher a lot of names, so. We don't know. <laughs> that's, that's how it goes. And I would say we're about 10 or 15 minutes off the road, so we are secluded. Secluded, privacy, peaceful, this is, my favorite. Right. I am. It, this has been a game changer in RV living. I'm just like, woo! This is awesome. <laughs> yeah, we, we don't have your crown. My again. princess crown. Yeah, I yeah. I did see where it was. I'll have to pull it out. <laughs> it's yeah. over on your side. Here's my boondocking queen right here. <laughs> you want me to go get it? I know exactly where it is. It's quick and easy. <laughs> okay. Okay. Should I sing the song? So this is the queen of my double wide trailer. <laughs> Here we go. Is that good? Yeah. Is that good? Is it cover up my Buddha bun? <laughs> <laughs> now we are ready. Yeah. <laughs> now we're ready to begin here. And I should uh, mention again, we find these amazing spots by using the Dirt app. And we actually have a free 90 day trial if you want to check it out. There will be links for that down in the description. I'm kind of surprised at how many boondocking sites there are so close to the Grand Canyon. It's amazing. There is not just off of uh, 688 here, there are some closer to town and actually closer to the Grand Canyon entrance. Right. We saw people on their e-bikes. Yes. Uh, biking into the Grand Canyon. Because there are some areas where you can boondock and the trail takes you to the Grand Canyon. You could actually ride your e-bikes to the Grand Canyon. Now, do they allow it there? I don't really I'm, know. Not on the rim trail, I'm sure. Right, because there's people. But you can lock up your bike and gosh, enjoy is, a day at the Grand Canyon. And not have to sit in line with all the other cars to get in the gate. So pretty cool. So like why pay for a site? Yeah. Uh, it's I think 50, 60 a night in town at the campground in town or a lot of people stay down in Williams where you're like an hour away. So it's really, there's really no reason to do that. Yeah. And uh, one thing that is nice about the campground in town, if you need propane or you need to dump your tanks or get fresh water, they will allow you to do that. I would recommend you get your propane first. <laughs> Because the prices were about double, I think, what you would get normally because we're in a touristy area. Yes. One thing uh, we'd recommend is that, uh, like what we did actually, is stopping right off the road. We got into the Jeep. Went and scoped out all the areas. We wanted to find somewhere that was sunny, that was off the main road, that would have good Wi-Fi. Lots of room. Lots of room. So I would say that we probably still picked too quickly and by <laughs> that the site's great, but wow, our cell signal internet stuff was not great here. As we discovered, uh, just some sites a little closer to town probably would have been a lot better for internet and being able to get work done online. Mm -hmm. So I think what we'll do is make sure that before we actually set up camp, we'll check the pep wave signal, run the speed test. See how it does. And just make yeah. sure. It hasn't been terrible, but it could be better. Sunshine could have been better. 
Right, that's a good point that with trees we have shade and I'm happy to say <laughs> that we actually went two full days before having to run the generator. Yeah. And we have had the supplement because we're probably getting 50% sun and I haven't yet bothered to angle the panels on the roof yet. So that is something that we could do. It's just- If we needed to, yeah. yeah. More work. To work and time. And we haven't really said this, I don't think in our last video, but our setup powers the entire RV. We're not just doing a couple of outlets like some people do uh, when they do solar on their RVs. Right. We're cooking, we're doing everything as normal. Like oh, you're on a, what is it, 30 amp? Yeah. It's, it's like we're on a 30 amp. So I can't like do the convection oven and the air fryer at the same time, but I can use everything as long as I'm not overwhelming the system. And uh, if you're interested in our setup at all, uh, what it is, all the links to everything is down there in the description. So check it out. I know a lot of people like to geek out on solar and batteries. Yes, they, numbers. Everybody wants the numbers. I'm like, know. I don't know. All of that stuff. Like, <laughs> I'm the princess. Like, what are the specs? And I it's just like, benefit from it. I don't know <laughs> the numbers. I don't care. I just want to be able to function. Well, and I know a lot of guys out there are like trying to talk their wives, significant others into this lifestyle and it has been that for you. I right. Mean, it so was a if 180 on boondocking yes. or not. Yes. So for this princess, she gives it a two thumbs up and if I can do it, anybody can do it. And another great thing about this national forest here and I think it's the Kaibab National Forest. Kaibab yeah, I'm not sure how you say it again, but there is plentiful firewood. I mean, I've got extra wood here yeah. in this spot. He We're had the leaving. best time. He was so excited about collecting wood. <laughs> it's like a program from childhood. It's like you show up at camp. Okay, kids, go get firewood. And we'd run and get firewood. It was the first thing he did. He came back so excited and telling me a story about memories from childhood. It was so cute. Well, I think it's time to get on the road. Yes, let's do. Yay, I can't believe it. Where we're going. We're so excited. We, we are going north, actually. Got to go through the Grand Canyon and go out uh, around and about. And actually, they around just. Around and about. They just opened the east entrance. Yes, what, two days ago? Two days ago. We can't believe it, it's been closed for over a year. We were gonna have to go all the way back to Williams, to Flagstaff, and then north because we're going to Page. Yes. Arizona. So many cool things yes. around Page. We got Lake Powell, we got Horseshoe Bend. So many cool things. We got about a week up there, and then we're moving again. Yeah. So we got big plans, lots of fun ahead. Right, so if you're brand new to our channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and you can follow all of our boondocking adventures. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. We really appreciate your feedback. And let us know what you think of this spot. Would you camp here? And uh, share your favorite free camp spots all over the country or here in Arizona. Uh, let us know. So. Thanks for coming along. We'll see you again so in the next guys. video. Bye. Bye now. Well, so long to the Grand Canyon. Hi, Grand Canyon. It was lovely. <laughs> I am super excited because it has been how long since I've used my hammock? A little while, um, yeah. Going on like eight or nine months, so <laughs> it's time. time. Hammock time. Yep. <laughs> Not hammer time, it's hammock time. Hammock time. <laughs> <laughs> doom, 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 doom. Really? Oh. Really? Whatever. What's wrong, Sheree? <laughs> I'm fearing for my life. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hanging on to the air conditioner. The RV's moving and that's a long way down. Not that I'm gonna go down that way. <laughs> <laughs> We're even charging batteries with solar right now by the Grand Canyon. <laughs> Save me. <laughs> <laughs> by the way, this red eye right here, no, I haven't been taking a few sips already. Uh, it's very windy. Or what about tokes? Have you been taking tokes? <laughs> no, that, uh, no, I'm not People high either. People think that's what you're doing, but he doesn't. <laughs> uh, the editors can't seem to take that out.
so I guess, <laughs> I guess you're stuck with the evil red eye. <laughs> what took you so long? Well, I had to stop and get a few things. Like what? What do you think? I think you were just going after water, right? Yeah. I had to go get some more pie. Oh man, they were, there they are. So we enjoyed our sunset so long. Whoa, your headlamp is so bright in my eyes. <laughs> we, we enjoyed sunset so long uh, that it got dark. It got dark. So we are using a headlamp to get out. So we're actually hiking out of the Grand Canyon next to the ledge. Yeah, that's the edge right there. You can't see anything. Oh, I don't it, see, exactly. You can't see anything. Just, just stay away from the big black hole. <laughs>